Hello. Uh. Hello. Hello. What's up, guys? Hello, lads. Hello, everyone. Hello, every. Hello, everyone. What's up? <laughs> nah, no way, dude. How are you? I bet you all are well. Hello lads, today we are Sparta, so uh, yeah, Moto Mo, hello everyone, Testing microphone, testing microphone. So the players now will be begin their walkouts, and we will get underway soon. players still yet to walk out, they will walk out soon. Don't worry about it. And here we go then for the first match. Here we go then for the first match of the ICU A League in season two. Melbourne City take on the Western Sydney Wanderers at Qantas Cloud Stadium.
Your sole referee today will be Joe Tucker. Here we go for the lineups today. For Melbourne City, A top in goal, loaning from Brisbane. We have Magic Noob 773. Boom 2. We also have Pendavario and also Outlaw Curie. That'll be the 5 today. Now for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Descentail in goal with Flying Blue Doge also in the starting lineup. Out of all of these people, I don't know who will be starting, but there is uh, Kojinche or Bereshk, there's Eldoneth, there's Kirby, there's Stormy, and then there's CSCS. And we are just about to get kicked off here. Melbourne City will kick off. I believe. As we have the Western Sydney away kits. But I believe we should be starting soon. And we are underway here at Qantas Cloud. Already playing it back to the keeper. And he's picked it up. That is <laughs> one of the funniest things that could ever have come out of the start of uh, the season. That'll be on the not top 10 highlights right there. And I believe it'll be a, a penalty or an indirect free kick, either one of those two. But, but very bad for Melbourne City to uh, lose out in the first minute here. Oh, it'll be a, a free kick from the opposing side. It's gone in. 1-0 already here. I couldn't see the free kick. But the Western Sydney Wanderers have a goal. It didn't take them long. Uh, just remember for all new viewer viewers, uh, the time on your screen is not the time in game, it's about 1.3 time. So the first half is usually uh, 15 minutes when uh, when in game it is, it is 45. Melbourne will kick off again. So we have a very vibrant atmosphere here as we will get underway again. Ref blows his whistle. They are not playing the ball. And that was an illegal kickoff, but we are going to let it slide. Good dummy there of uh, the man with the shark head has got it back. Two players next to each other here. And that was a very curious slide tackle. It's picked up in the midfield. I don't know who is who. I'm sorry. It's played back and it's played a bit too far back. So it was a bit of a blunder. And he has just been ankled. And a failed bicycle kick what is going on another angled <laughs> mm. 
Melbourne City have the ball. And they will swing it forward, but it's going to go nowhere. And it's stopped in the midfield. And a play to Flying Blue Doge. Known for his accurate shooting, like in the AFF Cup final. And we couldn't stream the actual final, we streamed the preliminary final of it. Now here goes Melbourne City. And that attack is quickly taken away. It's just a bit of lag issues uh, here and there. Ball gets played forward to Flying Blue Doge. What can he do from here? He's going to attempt the pass, and that was a very, very good block. Now can they go on the attack? Well, they seemingly were, but it's going back to the goalkeeper, and now it's sent forward again. Three on two. Ball gets played forward. Picked up by the Melbourne City player and it's taken away by Fly Blue Doge and it's gone out for a corner. Scrambling back. But it is a corner. Let's see how good their set pieces are. And it's gone back post and it's a good save. It will count as a shot on Tiger but it was. Not that difficult for Atop, he's had a blunder, and it's gone in. It's Kojinche with his second. I have a feeling Melbourne are going to protest that, but it will stand as a goal for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Another heavy blunder by the goalkeeper. We're about... We're almost halfway through, and it's 2-0 to the champions. We kick off again. What can Melbourne City do? Oh, they tried to lodge the ball forward. Miscalculated. That was a massive ankle right there. He went flying. They've got the ball back. Open on the left wing. They're going to go to the left wing. To Kajinche. Already got two goals in this game. And he's going to swing it to the right wing this time. Blue Doge misses it. Sent in by, I believe, CSCS, and it's going to be flying Blue Doge on a one-on-one -on -one and scoring. You could just feel that they were going to score. It is 3-0 to the champions. We kick off again, it is 3-0. Getting the ball back once again. Flying Blue Doge on the right wing. He's gonna play it forward. Kajin chase through. Can the Melbourne City player come back to get it? He can. Very, very good recovery. And now the ball is played forward. Good block. Let's play forward to Flying Blue Doge. And we have a Pittsburgh Steelers player on the pitch. Uh, Possibly loaning, but that one has gone out for a goal kick.
So far, Melbourne City not having much of the ball. They're trying to go quick on the counter-attack. Doesn't seem to be working so far for them, but you never know what can happen. It's a four on two. Playing down the right wing, I think that's Aldenath. It is. He will take a shot. Brilliant, brilliant save there. But there's an ankle. Western City are still through. Now Kajinche on the ball. Played away by Pittsburgh Steelers. Here we go down the right wing. A bit of lag. I have no idea what happened there. Was it a goal? It was a goal. I apologise for the lag issues, but it was a goal for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Another one for them. And the ball got played forward. I don't know if he was offside or not. No, why does it? Why did? Why does it keep lagging when they're through? I apologize for the drop frame. I believe it did go in, but they're checking VAR for a possible offside. I couldn't see it myself, so I have no idea what it is. They're playing on without the ref here. As we await the referee's decision. It is onside, and it, I believe it is a goal. It was a goal. Melbourne City have struck for the first time in this game. It is now 4-1. That was a very impressive counter-attack, I must say. But now, Western Sydney kick off. And then playing the ball at the back. And now they'll swing it forward. What the hell happened there? Not top 10 moments, Joe Tucker. And why has Lachlan reset the ball? Here we go with the Western City Wanderers. Yet again another kickoff. And why is there two balls on the pitch now? Played over the top, 
to fly and blue doge down the right wing. There's three of the lesser Zinni Wanderers players. Oh, well, one of them just has a similar shirt, an uh, Arsenal shirt to be exact. Believe that's a corner. It is a corner. Ball swung in. Kajinche. They haven't got it cleared yet. The shot takes a deflection. They've still got the ball. Kajinche, good clearance down the line. Now can they go on a counter attack? It's a three on one, and the ball's taken away instantly. There's a brilliant tackle down the left wing. Ball gets swung in, and it's another block. So this defense is doing anything but keeping them out of the goal. So the ball lagging quite a bit, and almost a block there, but it's cleared away by the goalkeeper Eldenath, and it'll be a throw in for Melbourne City in their own half. 15 minutes gone. Plus four extra time. Another set of dropped frames. Now far post was on the side. The middle was not. Here we go with Melbourne City. Down the left wing. Could he go for a shot, maybe? He will go for a shot. I must say it looked better than the result. Time. And that is the end of the half. Western Sydney Wanderers will kick off. Here we go for the second half. Here are oh, never mind. Of course, uh, in this league, you do not swap halves, although in real life you do. Ball gets played straight to the keeper. Who will clear it and it's headed away. And it comes back to the Melbourne City player. And cleared out for a throw-in in, in uh, the attacking third for Melbourne City. What can they do from here? He can miss the ball, that's what he can do, and he's gone straight to a Western City Wanderers player. On the attack now. Looking to try and get the fifth, but it will be a throw in for the Wanderers.
taken away by the Melbourne City player. He keeps on trying to long it forward, but he's not able to. That's a bit adventurous. It'll go down as a shot on target, but that didn't really trouble the Sintail as much as it should have. Ball gets headed away. Oh, an adventurous light tackle. Here goes Flying Blue Doge, the Australian national. Has it taken away from him? Ball played over the top to the left wing. Cleared down the line and it's headed forward once again. And that was a very beautiful flick, but it's taken away. Oh, still going with the ball. City through on goal now. Can they convert? That was a very, very weak shot. That's probably going to be one of the best chances they have this game. And they have fumbled the bag. Will that be a goal kick? It will. Just didn't look like it, but it was. It was slowing down drastically. Here comes the Western City Wanderers. And cleared out for a corner. The third corner for the Western City Wanderers this game. And with the corner, it's not cleared away, it's hit the crossbar, it's come back down, and it's taken by the keeper. That was close. So, so unlucky. Now here come Melbourne City on a counter. <laughs> Blue Doge misses the bicycle. Can he swing it in? He'll take a shot at it, and he'll go in. 4-2. Melbourne City... And scored two against the champions, and that was a very big blunder by Alda, by uh, De Centale, Sorry, and that's half the work done for Melbourne City. Four two now. We are approaching halfway through. Are they checking for an offside? They've anchored the ball. I'm not too sure why. I believe they were doing subs because Jacob SBG will make his debut for the Western Sydney Wanderers, former player of Melbourne Victory, which turned into Melbourne City. And there he is on the right wing with the black hat. Flying Blue Doge will play it to the left. The shot was curling, it's hit the post. Jacob SBG. And that ball has been sent forward and gone out for a throw in. Yet again hitting the woodwork for the Western Sydney Wanderers attackers. And they're pausing the timer here.
All right, we're playing now. Here come the Western Sydney Wanderers. Flying Blue Doge. He'll take a wild shot and Kunku style. And that is the fifth for the champions. Western Sydney going riot as Yummy Spaghetti uh, checks into the game. Former Western Sydney Wanderers, Adelaide United, and MacArthur Bulls player. It's now playing for the Western Sydney Wanderers. Loyalty negative 100. Anyway, so here we go with Elderness, I believe. Swinging it into Jacob SBG, a little 1 2, and that was a very, very poor pass. Ball gets played forward. Is that an Arsenal shirt? It's Real Madrid. Anyway, still going. Still going here. Wants to have a crack. It's going to have a crack, and it's a good save by Eldonath. These two teams are very equal in shots on target. Western City have uh, two more shots than uh, Melbourne City, so both really attacking the other, and that's cleared for a throw-in. I don't know how many throw-ins there have been. There's been too many. So we're halfway... We're approaching, no we are at halfway through the second half now. The ball gets played forward and I think that's just going to get cleared up towards Flying Blue Doge. The Melbourne City player misses it. Goalkeeper wanted to rush. That was a very massive slide tackle. They've played on, and it's a yellow card to Flying Blue Doge. The first yellow card of Season 2. Coming from uh, a massive slide tackle. As Eldonet claims the ball, he'll swing it forward to Yummy Spaghetti. That ball will fly over the top. Here come Melbourne City. Oh, he's Duke 2. He's going to have a crack, and it's on the roof of the netting. It was a fairly decent attempt from that range. Oh, he's completely missed the ball, but he's got it back. And he's playing his teammate through. The shot faked. And he shoots first time and scores! 5-3! Melbourne City really mounting a challenge to the champions here. Seventy-fifth minute though uh, now. It's 5-3. This is turning out to be a brilliant game. I would have thought that would have been one-sided. The shot goes straight at Eldonet. He is saving that. No doubt about it. That ball gets cleared forward. Seems like a new light has been lit in all of the Melbourne City players as they are attacking ruefully. Will that go out for a it won't go out. It's still going here. Attempting to clear the ball up. The ball stayed in play. No, it hasn't. It's gone out for a, a throw. The ball bouncing like a jumping castle. And he's thrown it straight to Yummy Spaghetti, but he's missed the ball completely. Four in defense for Melbourne. And that will go out for a throw. Looked like a good attack. Now Western Sydney had a chance.
Goalkeeper's rushing. The ball got stopped. It's gone in. 5-4. Melbourne City mounting a comeback for the ages. They're checking to see if it was lag. So it'll be Western Sydney ball from a Melbourne City. Mel it'll be Western Sydney ball from a Melbourne City attack that fizzled out. Ball played forward, and we see the first side of Jacob SPG dribbling down the line. It's played to his man. No nonsense clearance. It will be. A corner, four corners for Western Sydney. Three of them have come in the second half, and that ball gets cleared away. That ball gets fired back into the mosh pit. In game, there's ten more minutes remaining. That gives 10 more minutes plus extra time for Melbourne City to attempt to mount a comeback. That was a beautiful fake. He's still dribbling with the ball. Oh, ball gets cleared forward. Oh, that was so, so, so close. So unlucky. As it hits the woodwork. Not for the first time in this game for either side. Oh, that was a very beautiful block. He's trying to play it back. Here goes Flying Blue Doge now dribbling the ball. He will play it to Decentail, the goalkeeper. It's brought down by Jacob SPG. It will play it through to Yummy Spaghetti. Eldoneth is also getting involved. Eldoneth with the ball. Here he comes. Here he goes. Still dribbling with the ball. Still got the ball. He's not stopping. And he's going to take a shot first time. It's hit the post. Goes back. Jacob SPG. Save. Melbourne City have got their lucky charm in goal tonight. Those were two brilliant, brilliant chances to score and they've missed both. Now the shot is a good save by Elden. He's not missing that. I mean, he did miss that about 20 minutes ago, but it's fine. We will continue. Melbourne City sending all of their players forward. They only have two back in defence. Cleared for a throw in. I believe the timer has been paused. There's a player rejoining. Joining Ahmed facing his former team. There's it's the 89th minute plus extra time as Jacob will go in goal as. 
as Desi Nana gets subbed off. He's had a fairly good game so far. And they are through West of Sydney and the ball has frozen and I believe that was offside. And they've played it quickly and they're just going to boot it out. Still no extra time yet. We'll see what the verdict is. It'll be plus seven extra time. So plenty of time to get another goal, possibly two. And that was a very big chance to get a shot and it's saved by Jacob SBG. That's what he signed here for. Oh, he's missed the ball. Flying Ludo, flying Ludo, surely to cap off a brilliant night at the Qantas Clan Stadium, it's saved! Shoot the ball, son! He's absolutely hampered that one-on-one -on -one chance. Here come Melbourne City. Ahmed dribbling past Elden Ball got played back to Jacob SBG, who will send it forward. Multiple players looking to be offside. Here we go, that was a fancy dribble over the top. Saved again by Jacob SBG. His second save that he's had to make. And the shots don't look particularly strong towards the keeper. Two more minutes of extra time left and it's thrown in and I think we know the uh, who the winner will be tonight. It's all pretty sad and sad. It's played to Yomish Baguette. Can the champions get one more? Ball swung in. Keeper saves. Quickly played forward. Surely that's extra time finished to cap off a brilliant night. Western Sydney have opened that three goal cushion once again. Sydney are forward for the last attack. Oh, he's got a volley of first time, and it's a save. That will cap off a brilliant, brilliant night of football at the match pitch. <coughs> and Western Sydney, they have won the game. We thank you all for joining us tonight for this live coverage of the ICCU A-League. Join us soon when we will produce Brisbane taking on Perth Glory. But for the end of the broadcast, Western Sydney 6. Melbourne City 3.
for your game. So your game's at 8, so it need to be around 7.20 or 7.30. And what's dinner? A double. Uh, um, I'm going to go with a dinner. If you're not hungry, then you can just have it later. Yeah, just have a dinner. But have some, maybe have something small or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, Did you take Marlon's pillows? Yes. Or, 